Hello and welcome to Will Watches. This is La La Land. So I've absolutely loved everything I've seen from Damien Chazelle. I still need to see Babylon, but First Man and Whiplash, Whiplash, phenomenal as you all know. He's clearly got a great love for jazz and I know that's reflected in this film as well. This is just one that I know I should have watched but haven't got round to, probably partially because it's a musical and musicals are never typically my genre and like in the past it's kind of a genre I avoided when I was younger but that's kind of counteracted by the fact that it's Jamie and Chazelle and I know it's got so much praise and love around it as well, so many people have said how great this is. I know this is kind of about the glitz and glam of Hollywood and then it's Ryan Gosling, Emma Stone, so I'm excited, great cast as well. So before we jump into this, be sure to check out the Patreon page. Over there you can find next week's video right now. You can find polls to vote for what's next. You can find a full length timer based version of this and you can find some exclusive Studio Ghibli reactions. We should have Grave of the Fireflies and Kiki's delivery service up there right about now. So yeah, let's just jump right in. <laughs> the classic LA traffic, yeah. <laughs> I definitely heard the song, recognize the theme. I don't think I've ever heard the lyrics to it though. Without a nickel to my name, hop the bus, here I came. I could be brave or just insane. Okay, yeah, everyone moving to LA to start their movie career trend. Yeah, moving there without a nickel. <laughs> Never seen such a happy traffic jam. <laughs> In reality, they'd just be shouting at each other, selling each other to get a move on. <laughs> Road rage and everything. <laughs> Let's see how far it goes down. I can see some people dancing on the roof still, yeah. It's another day of sun. <laughs> Winter and it's that sunny and the singing about the sun as, as well, yeah. Okay, I was wondering how if that would tie into the main characters and everything. No, it was it was pure insanity. This insanity. I don't know. You know, the whole dance sequence at the start there and everyone's back in their cars, back to road raging, yeah. Was the whole thing just imaginary or there we go. That's more of what I was expecting it to be like. <laughs> oh, okay. Someone famous. She's close to the stars. Yeah. <laughs> she was wrecked. Oh, she was... Practicing earlier, okay. Are you gonna wait till Denver to tell her? So she wants to be an actor, makes sense. Okay. I mean, she seems pretty good, but maybe that's just my bias knowing that it's Emma Stone. <laughs> One second. I phone. Just completely broke her flow, yeah. Is she going to be able to pick it back up? <laughs> yeah, didn't have time to change your shirt. And it's all just people just like her. Still a nice apartment. It's, it's always nice apartments, isn't it? Even though she's just working in a coffee shop. <laughs> Did she just say working? What? I'm sorry, it didn't go well today. And there's like four things in my inbox that you're perfect for. So all of her flatmates, they're all successful and she's not. It's not. It's going to be a bunch of social climbers. All packed into one of those big glass houses. This looks familiar. Need to get networking though, yeah. It's how you make it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Go get your name out there. Yeah. 
yeah, here's funny, all the glitz are going and then they get into the little, I don't even know what the car was, was that a Toyota? Of course, probably the sleazy executive who thinks he's a big deal. I could get you a good role in something. Oh yeah, I wonder how much of the singing Emma Stone actually did. Or if they ADR'd it with someone else singing, or if it's all her. I don't think I've ever heard her singing anything, so I don't know if she's got a good singing voice or not. The voice there sounded so different from her like regular speaking voice. Slowly building back up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't she have to be at work or something? I thought she couldn't go to that party anyway. Or is it she needed she had to work in the morning, so couldn't be out late. I don't know the time setting for this as well. I seeing some of the cars at the start and thinking, oh, they're quite there's some older ones, but it seems like relatively modern, but it could be like early 2000s. I'm like, can't you just get an Uber? <laughs> oh, yeah. Heard that. They've done this quite a lot where they darken everything just to focus on her. Oh, we're getting it from his perspective now. Is it him playing the piano? I feel like it would have been. Does she like jazz? Probably not. Then what are we going to talk about? I don't know. It doesn't matter, okay? Because you're living like a hermit. Well, you can always Whatever. teach your significant matter. other about jazz. Laura, I, I had a very serious plan for my future. It's not my fault. I got oh, it's all falling apart. Yeah, of course. Why do you say romantic like it's a dirty word? Unpaid bills are not romantic. You're acting like life's got me on the ropes. I want to be on the ropes. <laughs> Starving artist era, yeah. And then you go and become successful. I'm a phoenix rising from the ashes. <laughs> His car was quite nice from what I saw. Again, I wonder how much is actually him. Did he spend a lot of time learning piano and everything, developing his skill? I think Ryan Gosling came from a little bit of a musical background. Of course, I know he did. I'm just Ken is saying that, but I'm pretty sure from what I know. Oh, you're looking at a new man. Man, that's happy to be here. Excellent. J.K. Simmons. I thought in this town it worked on a sort of one for you, one for me type system. How about two for you, one for me? Now don't start dragging or rushing. <laughs> that stool might be thrown right at you. <laughs> right. And I sign off on it, so. Whatever. Tell yourself what you want to know. Well, welcome back. Put some money in the chip tip jar already so it looks like other people have. Encourages people to tip you more, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it was around Christmas time. LA, it just it doesn't feel Christmassy, does it? Because it's so bright and sunny. <laughs> Keep forgetting it's set around that time. So he's going to start playing what he wants to and everyone else will enjoy it more than the set list, won't they? Mm, yeah, back to this song. I'm guessing this is the original composition for the film. I don't think I've heard it outside the film context. I mean, I've heard it like in the background of TikToks and things, YouTube videos. Oh yeah. Just like with Emma Stone's character, the spotlight coming in and everything else darkening. It's 
like their moment in the spotlight, yeah. Or when you just let the art kind of take over. See, there is some of the piano playing where it, it cuts out Ryan Gosling's head, I'm wondering. But then it's quite a smooth camera transition. If they did swap him out for someone else, that would have been really well hidden. So Yeah, no one really was paying much attention to that either, though, were they? The crowd didn't cheer. <laughs> I don't think you hear what I'm saying. You're fired. No, I mean, that's what you're saying, but it's not what you mean. What you mean is... You're fired. <laughs> I just heard you play, and I wanted to... Yeah, he's not in the right uh, headspace at the moment. <laughs> DOA on 23rd. Perp laughing his face off at the PD. Damn Miranda writes. This is my classroom. You don't like it, the door. I bet that was the, these bits here were film fun to film. You be tripping. Okay, so quite a bit of time since their last meeting, yeah. I got a lot of heat right now. There's a lot of buzz, people talking about me, she's exciting. And you worked so hard and then all that validation. I'm gonna crazy. grab a drink. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Lots of uh, show offs, yeah, people bragging. Take on me. Take on me. Take oh, there he is. Downgraded to this, yeah. Girl in the front. I ran. I ran a fantastic suggestion. <laughs> He's not playing into it, yeah, he got getting character. <laughs> Match the energy of the rest of the band. Okay, I was an asshole. I can admit that. Okay. But requesting Iran from a serious musician is just, it's too far. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he can call himself that in this situation. What's your name? Mia. Mia. Guess I'll see you in the movies. <laughs> Feels very Ken. The, the, I'm just thinking back to the sunglasses bit where you had put on two pairs. I wonder if that was a reference, actually. It is strange. Maybe it means something. I doubt it. Yeah, I don't think so. Where's my car? Hasn't been towed again, has it? This? Yeah. Yeah, it makes your head into an antenna, so. Ooh. I think it gives you cancer, but you find your car faster. Yeah, I remember when they did that on Top Gear. <laughs> Knight in shining armor. Weirdo. That was the word. Okay. This is where they do their dance, where they do that pose, right? I recognize the scenery from the poster. <laughs> oh yeah, she's not having it. Yeah, they're going for enemies to lovers. <laughs> Are they matching shoes? They're the same, yeah. The LA specifically for tap dancing, yeah, that might be what it is. <laughs> yeah, that's it. With the hat, the diagonal hat arms up like that. Yeah, when they're so, so insistent that they're no good for each other, it feels like they're compensating, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, be there soon. Okay, bye. Already got to be at work? Good night. Okay, I got not getting each other's numbers, so... They're just gonna have to bump into each other again at some point. Although he knows where she works now. Then yeah, you, you don't do a little dance like that when there's nothing there. <laughs> so anyway, I left college after two years to come here, and um, my last audition was for a teen soap pitched as Dangerous Minds meets the OC. Yeah, it's just wa waiting for the big break. Yeah, but it's such a blanket statement. You don't like Jess. What are you doing right now? Nothing. 
She, yeah, we were just in her world of it there. We're going to go in to see his now. I mean, she obviously liked the song that he played earlier. I mean, what about elevator music? You know, jazz music that I know. What about it? For my life. Mm -hmm. I just, I mean, the mainstream stuff, yeah. And so it's conflict and it's compromise and it's just, it's new every time. It's brand new every night. It's improv. you got to explain it in her own words, you know. It's dying, man. It's dying. Man. Mm. And the world says, let it die. It had its time. Well, not on my watch. He's not giving it up, yeah. Yeah, I just missed a call. Oh, has she got something? I got a call back. What? <laughs> Come on. And she goes straight to him. Oh no, this was still in here, yeah. Chris Mines meets the OC. Yeah. Congratulations. Okay, I thought there was a bit of a time jump there, but okay. Um, Monday night, 10, 10 o'clock. Yeah, great. Okay. For research. <laughs> yeah, just for research. Not a date. Definitely not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Both of them looking back. Hi. Yeah, he's uninterested on her phone. The nerves get into her a bit. Two options. You either follow my rules or follow my rules. Capiche? Thank you. What? You. Just like that? No, that's, that's fine. Thank you very much. Thank you. I don't have much time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Classic cutthroat Hollywood. Oh, but thinking of him... Calms her down a bit, cheers her up a bit, yeah. <laughs> Reminded of that. A space out front. <laughs> Great. We should get going. Okay. My brother landed really early. Got other commitments? But now we got this surround sound set up, so oh, it's like... it's like being in a movie theater. Wow. Oh, better than being in a theater. Really. And she's got no way to communicate with Sebastian, does she? <laughs> so yeah, we love it. That's so nice. <laughs> well, we have to come. Man. You should. Come by. Yeah, so he's just being stood up. He dressed up nice as well, yeah, in his suit just for a cinema. Although the Rialto is quite a well-known one, isn't it? I, even I know the name. Less developed, it's a little underdeveloped, right. you know? I think there's a little more... Yeah, then... Ooh. I don't know if it's safe. Yeah, yeah. Playing again. Reminded of him again. I'm sorry. So is that just her thinking about it? Or I was like, so is it not one of his original songs? And it was playing on the radio? Blocking a screen for everyone, come on. Rebel Without a Cause is one I need to see too. Maybe I'll do a video for it. <laughs> Come on, Seb. Just go for a yawn. <laughs> As this star approaches us, Jim Stark. Mmm. There we go. The last of us search the heavens and stand amazed. For the stars. Pay attention, you're supposed to be doing research. They keep getting interrupted, don't they? Every single time, yeah. Oh, to where it was filmed. I mean, that's cool that it's so close, you can just drive right to it. Mm, and we're hearing that it's the same melody, same light motifs. But developed more. <laughs> Playing up the gentlemanly bit, yeah.
They were singing about the stars before, weren't they? There you go, and now they're in the stars, yeah. Well, they feel like they're in the stars when they're together. There you go. Oh, <laughs> there we go. That's all, folks. We're all done. Where's that? There's a script? It's a play. Play? You better give us all wrong. Oh, she's writing something now. She's inspired, yeah. Wow. Is that going to happen every time? I think so. Hmm. Yeah, you can just see it on her face, can't you? <laughs> Are we gonna cycle for a whole year maybe? Then back around to winter, a year of the life. <laughs> like I said in my um elemental reaction a montage is always a good way to really build up a relationship make it believable because it's just like an accelerated time because you need the time to believe that they've got this connection he's working here now so he's improving a bit moving up the ladder Oh, someone he knows. Come here, man. <laughs> How are you? Okay. John Legend, right? New combo. Okay. Cool. We're looking for keys. You kidding me? No, I'm not kidding. Yeah, moving up again. Genius. Oh, a play, yeah. Yes. It feels really nostalgic to me. Is That's it too nostalgic? Yeah, That's... Are people gonna like it? Go Girl, wear, wear your heart on your chest, yeah. Wear your heart on your chest, wear your heart on your sleeve. <laughs> That's where your heart normally is, isn't it? <laughs> is that a music note? Is it an apostrophe? Yes. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's gotta be chicken on a stick. Mm. Because yeah, it's authentic. Find a new spot. It's gotta be the Van Beek. It doesn't have to be the Van Beek. I can't let them samba all over its history. Oh. Oh, you gotta get them to close down first, don't you? Keith. Yeah. Once yeah. Does he not like Keith or something? No, mom. I, I'm not getting paid. I'm paying you to do it. Yeah, you gotta invest in your dreams, don't you? It's so hard to explain your dreams like that to your parents, especially. No, really nice. Hmm. <laughs> Wet patches and leaks. Yeah. Needs the money if it pays well. Got our own imprint. I'm about to go on the road. Uh, we can pay you a thousand bucks a week plus a cut of the ticket revenue and merchandise. Thousand bucks a week. Wow. 52k. <laughs> but he's got to go on the road. Yeah. But does he love it? That's the thing. How much does he enjoy the music here? Enjoy what he's doing? Uh, too much technology, who's playing that instrument, yeah. Modernizing it too much. Did you say you want to save jazz? How are you going to save jazz if no one's listening? Oh, okay, I guess, yeah. Modernize it to a bigger audience. Kenny Clark and Thelonious Monk, these guys were revolutionaries. How are you going to be a revolutionary? If you're such a traditionalist. Felonius Monk. Is that why Monk is named Monk in American fiction? Because his na first name was Felonius, wasn't it? That's how we got the nickname. I thought it was just because he was smart. <laughs> oh, okay. And she signed a contract. And she's leaving the barista role. 
but with nothing concrete in place. Or she is actually getting it produced, or meeting with someone at least. Okay, going places, yeah. Nearly a million views on that. The Messengers, that's the band name. Oh, it closed. Reout her. Yeah, he's on tour, so it gets lonely. Their lives aren't really compatible, they're not in sync anymore. He needs to get this song uh, published or something, get a solo career going. We'll get it done under the band, well the band might want to change it up, modernise it a bit too much. Now the spotlight's actually on him, yeah. Yeah, different than she was expecting. This turns into a riot. Let's get reckless, tear this place down to the floor. Yeah, it's the whole showmanship bit as well, of course. Having dancers on stage. <laughs> it's lost the improv bit that he loves so much, doesn't, hasn't it? Maybe he did that solo once, but if it's the same solo over and over again every night. It's just like in his body language and posture, you can tell his heart isn't really in it. One hand in his pocket, you know. Yeah, it feels like almost he's been, the piano's been drowned out by everything else. Fool, but then there's the other connotations. Yeah, they're fooling. Is he back home? Okay, that's nice. I was thinking, oh yeah, on the road is so much to do. <clears throat> Prepared dinner date for. <laughs> Again, stars in the sky playing. But I'm terrified. They should be so lucky to see it. I can't wait. Oh, he's obviously, he's got to be there for the first performance, but will he be able to be? When you finish with the whole tour? But after we finish, we're going to go record and then we go back on tour. Yeah, it's the end of the cycle, isn't it? I hadn't really thought it through. I didn't know that the band was so You didn't important. think it would be successful? Oh, it's just kind of how long can he stay to save up enough to open his own place, right? Do you like the music you're playing? I don't... Yeah, yeah, that's the whole thing. Because if you're going to give up your dream, I think it matters that you like what you're playing on the road for years. So is he just giving up on opening his own bar? His own club? This is what you wanted from me. To be in this band? To be in a band, to have a steady job. You know? To be successful, to do what you love, that's what she wants, isn't it? A club called Chicken on a Stick. So change the name. Well, no one likes jazz, not even you. I do like jazz now because and of this you. Is what I thought yeah, she's learned to love it. I want to go to it because you're passionate about it and people love what other people are passionate about. You remind people uh, of what they forgot. Not my forgot. experience. Well, that's exactly why she loved, started to love it, isn't it? Maybe you just liked me when I was on my ass because it made you feel better about yourself. Oh, no. Are you kidding? What are you saying? Like being able to be around you and see you follow your passion. Hmm, <laughs> suddenly camera movement's gone handheld. Very shaky, yeah. Uh...
Yeah, she just isn't in the right headspace for this now, is she? Even if he is here to support her, I don't know, that might distract her with the arguments they've been having. I thought that was next Thursday. No, it's tonight. Is that okay? Me is opening night. How packed is the crowd? Not that, give me the other camera. What's wrong with that? I don't know. That's bloody work. That's what's wrong with it. All right, come is he here? Lovely. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, keyboard. Decided to do the photo shoot, yeah. In the hand sunglasses? That's lovely. Okay, now look. Now, bite your lip like you're sort of, like, like you're concentrating on it. On <laughs> a little bit further, just a little bit touch further. Keep your head down, but look up at me. Look sort of moody. Yeah. <laughs> he looks so stupid, doesn't he? <laughs> I was thinking. I wonder if her parents have come down to see her show. Pianist, aren't you? Play something. Of course, they're not all going to love it, are they? And trying to incorporate that incorporate that into a song and it's gonna just like ruin his vision of the song oh yeah that means financially it's not doing well either you know but you, you never know it could build up some steam and by the end of the run word of mouth <laughs> She's not good. oh Oh, she already has, hasn't she? I mean, he does actually care. Mia, I'm so sorry. Did she even know that he missed it? I don't blame you for It's knowing. over. Ooh. Wow. That was the last straw, yeah. Nobody showed up. So what? I can't pay back the theater. This is so Yeah, the money side of it as well. Home for a while. I'm gonna, I'll come see you tomorrow. No, I'm going home, home. Yeah, yeah, back to parents. Oh. Arizona or something, was it? Oh. Playing weddings, yeah. But of course, yeah. Seeing people in love <laughs> when he's down. <laughs> Not anymore. Okay, well, if you Yeah, there's opportunities, okay. Casting? She's gotta get back. Oh, he's come all the way here. Really? That's cool, setting up him beeping like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is the suburbs, it's not uh, Hollywood. She was at your play, and she loved it. Yeah, she judged herself too soon. I'm sorry? That will kill me. Yeah, she heard two judgmental what? guys. What? Oh! <laughs> That's where that what is from. <laughs> Why? I've been to a million auditions, and the same thing happens every time, where I get interrupted because someone wants to get a sandwich, or I'm crying. But th this is someone who's reached out because they already like you, you know? And they're like me, but prettier mm. and better at the... Because maybe I'm not good enough. Yes, you are. No. You need someone to tell, the, tell you that you are, yeah. Maybe I'm one of those people that has always wanted to do it, but it's like a pipe dream. Yeah, as I was saying, it's... um. She took the judgment of two people she overheard and not a professional in the space who actually wants her in there. That's way more important, their judgment, than someone else's. You're crying like a baby. Oh, my God. And you have an audition tomorrow at 5.30. I'll be out front at 8 a.m. <laughs> Give her a time to think it through. Wow. <laughs> I got coffee. Okay, great. You really thought she wasn't going to show up? Look at the vignetting there, yeah. Me too. The film shoots in Paris. 
and we don't have a script. All the way to Paris. It's going to be a process. We're going to build the character around the actress. It's a three-month rehearsal and a four-month shoot. Does she already have it then? You could just tell us a story about. Uh, you can just tell us anything. Yeah, let's give her free reign. Oh, I just got chills a bit there. <laughs> She's a storyteller, yeah. They're trusting in her and they're bu building the role around her. The story is about being abroad and I remember... Yeah, look at this. They're actually listening this time. She spent a month sneezing but said she would do... Yeah, it's like... When they do this, when there's a spotlight, it's also like they're kind of in the zone. They've drowned out everything else. She's not worrying that she's in a um, audition here. She's just telling her story. In her liquor, and died with a flicker. I'll always but if she's off in Paris, yeah, it's commitments. He's off touring. She's off in Paris. Here's to the ones that dream that yeah, that's the whole thing, follow your dreams. A bit of madness is king. <laughs> to give us new colours to see. You do need a bit of madness to make it. A bit of audacity. Did you find out? Um, they said the next couple days. But I'm not expecting to find anything out. Quite soon actually. Where are we? Where? Yeah, in terms of their relationship. I don't think we can do anything. Because when you get this. If I get this. When you get this. When, yeah, you got to shift your mindset. You got to give it everything you got. They both need to pour that all into their art. I'm always going to love you. I'm always going to love you too. They're just going to have to wait it out. Look at this view. <gasps> <laughs> seem better. It's the worst. Yeah. Trying to attract themselves, yeah. Yeah, there's quite a few shots that have this quite intense vignette in a winter background. Oh, those clouds painted at the top. Maybe even the palm tree. Or it is, yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, is it a matte painting? I'm like, okay, no, it is just part of the five years. Wow. So are they both successful? I could have two iced coffees. Right, of course. On us. Oh, no, thank you, I Oh, I'd definitely say, you know, encourage them, say, I used to be in this position too. Look, if I can make it, you can too. I used to work here as well. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Oh. Mm -hmm. How is she? She's great. Really? <laughs> Hi, Kids as well. Be home yet. Are you trying? So it's been five years. I must. Have... Wow, kid. There's at least you know two something. And he always sees her. Oh my Chelsea. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Good night, guys. Nice Good night. Good night. Are they going to Seb's? Does he have... Well, he was signing a contract there. Was that setting up his own... Jazz? You want to check it out? Didn't see a sign, yeah. Definitely seen it. Wow. He did actually open it. I'm surprised you wouldn't know. You didn't keep up. <laughs> wow. I'm surprised it's not his own protective glass. <laughs> so it went with her logo as well. Are they serving chicken? Yeah. Seen her. Course, it's got to be. Oh, 
all. Spotlight back on him. Oh, they're back here. Huh. Are we seeing if things would have gone differently or just... What is it? I just heard you play and I wanna... We're just imagining themselves back together. Ah, <laughs> uh, I think they're just imagining a life together again, aren't they? Or how things could have gone differently. If it was all perfect, yeah, but life isn't, is it? Okay, there's Amy casting her, yeah. But he was there in the audition. And then obviously he's free to travel with her, isn't he? Yeah, like the sets and everything. Yeah, the miniatures, the little plane flying across the Paris. But I think because this all staged like a play, it shows it's all just what they're imagining. Oh, and yeah, they're dancing in the stars again. Then looking into the future as well, yeah. And then back to this night here. Couldn't they have just cut like a few minutes in there and made this the actual ending? <laughs> He sees her walking out as well, though. Yeah, a little smirk. Doesn't need to be a melancholy. Reunite. Okay, so that was La La Land. I can really see where all of the hype is coming from, why everyone loved this. It's really a story of following your dreams, even though it doesn't shy away from the negatives of that and some of the repercussions of that as well. There are sacrifices you have to make to be able to follow your dreams. And like at the end, we had that sequence that was, you know, a bit of a fantasy of how things would have gone if they'd gone perfectly but that's not life is it it wouldn't go perfectly but yeah that bit where she walks into her home and she's got a new husband and she just like kisses this random guy it's like a punch in the gut isn't it you see the five years later and think okay they've been away from each other for five years maybe haven't been in a relationship together or were like on and off you know occasionally visiting each other but no they'd fully split and yeah pretty soon after she had got in quite a serious relationship because they had a kid together it's been five years that kid is like two or three so you know she got in a relationship and had a kid quite soon after at least within the like two to three years after they had split it's just funny because you know they'd fi film the happy ending you probably could edit it down into a happy ending remove the bits where they split and remove the bit with the new husband and put in all the stuff where they filmed the happy ending and you could have that as an alternate couldn't you i'm sure someone's done that and one thing was i was trying to like 
pin down the exact time frame because for a lot of the film they didn't use phones but eventually we did see them use phones and use a smartphone and then i was like looking at the cars and like i don't really know too much about cars to be honest so when i was first looking at like the scene um of them on the highway i was like oh is it like early 2000s you know i had the joke about her calling an uber um and there there is a probably a few things here that could be solved quite simply by someone just you know getting someone's number and texting them or phoning them but of course that's not cinematic is it you know we do see phones and phones get used here but it's far more cinematic for him to drive all the way to Arizona to go and get her and it's far more romantic for him to do that as well and you know they had to write around that with her not picking up the phone but there's probably other times where I was like oh, yeah they could just text each other but it doesn't have the same appeal the same storytelling appeal to just solve everything through you know just whipping out your phone and sending over a text is not the same is it and then like the musical aspect one thing I always struggle with with musicals is kind of the context of the music itself within the narrative so like is it all played straight and the people are actually singing or is it in people's heads like I feel like it kind of is here or is it like a hyper stylized world where everyone does sing and it's all true and sometimes it can be like a little immersion breaking highlighting that we are actually in a film are in a musical but here I feel like for the most part it works well especially you know once you have there's that scene of them actually dancing with the stars and he lifts her up and they start floating in the air and you're like okay you know it's it's kind of a hyper reality and also partially in their head it's all metaphorical and symbolic most of the dance and music sequences here and a lot of the time they act as like insights into the characters as well like with Mia when she had her audition and the audition just kind of became a solo for her for her to sing along and talk about you know her hopes of becoming a star and following her dreams and also how you have to be a little bit foolish to follow your dreams and it's funny, you know, although the ending isn't a positive one, it still doesn't feel like the film is saying don't follow your dreams, is it? It still is very much that's the message that you should follow your dreams um, no matter how no matter how outlandish they might feel. And there, there's always the shot, you got to shoot your shot and you have to be a bit um, you have to be a bit foolish for it as well. You have to dream big and you have to fail big sometimes as well don't you but everything opens up doors as like with her stage show you know um she took so much weight on those negative criticisms that she overheard that but there were people who really liked it as well and i feel like that's a common thing with youtube you see a negative comment and it sours your mood for the rest of the day when when you can get 10 times as many positive comments and it, it doesn't have the same way a lot of youtubers say the same thing and have the same problem so it does feel really motivating actually being able to follow your dreams and like seeing where they are in the world as well we had Seb's apartment and he had a big old damp patch in his bedroom and I have the same <laughs> I'm here I'm working part-time retail job while doing this the rest of the time and kind of deciding where my life wants to go but I've got a big old leak in my bedroom and it's not that I can't afford to fix it, it's actually I'm just waiting for the council to come and fix it, but you know, similar things, similar circumstances. I'm definitely in my struggling artist phase as well, <laughs> and deciding how I'm going to make my own art. And I loved how, um, you know, they both push each other on and encourage each other to yeah follow their dreams you know that there's some of it of like the way you talk about your own work and how people will say they're an aspiring filmmaker when other people say they are a filmmaker and you know so much of it is in your language as well and how you view and perceive yourself how that exudes confidence especially when you're doing like networking and things but sometimes there is also a need for compromise and you know sometimes what you wish for isn't what you actually want because well really Seb got exactly what he wanted he opened up his bar called it Seb's it wasn't exactly what he wanted because it wasn't uh, the chicken shop but you know he, he opened it up that was his dream and he compromised and 
he saved up while he was touring doing you know this music that he wasn't really passionate about as you know that was a big part of their argument and th they both have kind of on paper they got their happy ending she went off to paris and become a big movie star but they weren't happy together and i don't know how much real happiness she ha like she's with this guy and she's got kids with him but just the body language and like when you see the kind of imaginary happy life mia and seb they're like right next to each other sitting next to each other in the jazz bar much happier than when you go to the reality and there's quite a bit of distance between her and her new husband i don't even know if we got a name for him so maybe it is a bit as well yeah careful what you wish for because what you think you want might not be what you actually want and part of what they wanted was they wanted this they what they wanted their outcome here but they wanted to do it together didn't they and they even said you know i'll always love you before they split and right at the end we got the little smirk between them it w it wasn't actually a bad reunite between them because i think he he kind of smirked and kind of acknowledging you know you we, we've made it we, we have made it in a way but it would have been nice if we'd made it together and she returns a smile as well and then they just kind of go on and carry on with their life don't they okay so i think that's everything thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this if you did be sure to leave a like comment your thoughts down below and if you really loved it be sure to subscribe so you can keep up to date on future uploads so yeah thanks for watching see you guys later